Okay, dekat sini kita ada whole salmon. We have whole salmon here. So what's going to happen here? We're going to cut and fillet the salmon. Eh? Okay, how are we going to fillet the salmon? First, we will cut the head. Okay, this is the head of the salmon. We will discard away the head of the salmon. You will not be using it. And we're going to cut the salmon accordingly. Okay, from a thin space of the salmon, cut until you have reached the top part. Fillet it. Salmon, cut. You wouldn't be using the, the tail. And right after, we're going to cut along. Cut along the lines for the salmon. If you hear the bones, it means that you are cutting it right. the first part of the salmon open it up okay that's your salmon take this way and you feel the bones and just take the bones out okay so this is the first part and this is the second part of the salmon and we're going to Remove the bones the same way that how we remove the first bone. However, we're going to cut it like this. I want to make sure that we cut this, the, the, the bones nicely. the same way how we did with the first part what I want to do is want to remove the middle bones the middle bone of the salmon you wouldn't want to eat this you have discard this away and what's going to happen next is going to trim your salmon accordingly so you wouldn't want to use the top part take the top part away you wouldn't want to use that bottom part as well take the bottom part away and try to find the bones take out the bones you can use your hands you can just feel it take out the bones of the salmon here take out the reverse flesh take out the bones 
Just use your hand. Take out the bones. Move it slowly. You can feel it with your hands, the bones. So just take it up. Carry it there. Because this is a very small salmon, the weight is almost 2 pounds, so it's pretty small. The best is actually to get fresh salmon. This has been frozen, so uh, the method that we are using here is a bit off. Okay, we want to take out the bones. And the bones are pretty small. You can use a tweezer or you can use your hand depending on how comfortable you are in handling the bones. Try to slide your finger along the bones, along the salmon to find any small bones okay okay that's all for this one again let us check for the other one for any bones okay no bones there as well so we can start with the brining process of the salmon eh? we can start the brining process of the salmon